Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to Sage Line 50. In this short podcast, we are going to do the entry of a direct debit or standing order, and this is for AAT Foundation. And in 2012, there was no requirement to actually set up the direct debit or standing order, so we are not going to do that. We're just going to show you what you would do, and you would simply enter it as a payment check we've got the right account, bank current account, OK, and we'll say the broadband is £40 a month including VAT. So this is DJH making the reference here, and we need the nominal code for the expenditure, and it's an internet expenditure, so I need to find the nominal code, which is, we don't update yet, we are internet charges, OK, and up we go and our cost code isn't needed our details it's the internet for September that we are entering and we said it was 40 pounds plus BAT so there we are 48 pounds in total that would be the simple way of entering it as a payment directly from the bank and I can save that and close it. There is in fact another way that you could enter it and we could consider them broadband electric here as a supplier. Now if we did that and did an entry then we would have to do something different and essentially what we would do would be to go and enter an invoice so we would say this would be our broadband I know we're going to end up doing it twice this way so I'll just name that DGH2 and the nominal code we've already set up for broadband you can see is for the internet and we would then say broadband for September and we said it was £40 plus VAT now if we do that and enter it, if we save this, we've saved an invoice there. So when we save and close it, that's got an invoice entered. And I need to pay that invoice, so I would then have to go to the bank. And I would have to look up the supplier. And I would then have to look up broadband electric. Okay, and now you can see it comes up with the invoice that I've entered. And I would simply go to pay that in full. Now the disadvantage of this method of course is this suggests that a cheque is actually written um, which we're not going to do so we really wouldn't enter it this way normally so we'll just say okay we've done that um, we've made the payment we will save it close it we've now of course got two payments to broadband but that's two different ways of showing it we can either enter it as a direct payment from a bank account which is what you probably normally do for AAT Foundation or you could enter um, an, an invoice and then pay the invoice if you're actually paying each month uh, by cheque but of course the idea was to show you for a direct debit or standing order so you would just enter it directly as a payment in, in that way. Okay, thank you.